Call the meeting to order. Please stand for the pledge of your able.
At this time, Council could take action to approve a resolution establishing an obsolete property rehabilitation district for the property located at 314 7th Street. Is there a motion? Motion. Second. Second. Have motion and second. Any discussion? Hearing none, please take the roll. Councilmember Cooper? Yes. Councilmember Beaton? Yes. Mayor Zelensky? Yes. Councilmember Simpson? Yes. Councilmember Schmansky? Yes. Mayor Pro Tempervalski? Yes. Councilmember Martin Pontiac? Yes. Motion approved. Thank you. Consideration of an application for an obsolete property rehabilitation exemption certificate from 7H Borough. Go on. Go on. I'm sorry. For the property located at 314 7th Street. An application has been received from seven Stephen H. Go oh, I can't say it right. <laughs> and an obsolete property rehabilitation exemption certificate for property located at 314 7th Street, pursuant to Public Act 146 of 2000. A public hearing was conducted earlier in this meeting. On this request, this item could be considered if Council took action to establish an Oprah district in the previous agenda item. At this time, Council could take action to approve an application for Stephen H. Rogola for the obsolete property rehabilitation exemption certificate for property located at 314 7th Street. Is there a motion? Motion. Second. A motion and a second. Any discussion? Comments? I got a question. 314 Citizens, is that one of those green buildings on the market? Yeah, it used to be the candy shop. Okay. Uh, no, 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 that's, 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 that's another building oh, down the street. Yeah. Okay. This is, uh, as a kid, it was like a, like a hardware store. Is this the one that had a barber shop in it? No. No. Oh, yeah, the other way. This has been vacant for quite a while. Yeah, it's probably yeah, been, it's been like vacant. 30 years, 30, 40 years. I drove it by it today, it really does need some rehabilitation. Well, and, and, then, and the nice thing is, is that this is one of those buildings that has so much character, and the, the fact that it's going to be restored uh, is, or hopefully will be completely restored to its uh, uh, past glory is, is really great for Manistee, because again, um, there's not many of this type of building, that, you know, the old style falls across the magic of the wooden sidewalk, and, and uh, a spittoon outside the door, so. Good night, I wasn't around that building. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> It'll look a lot better. better. Right now it looks like it should be blight. Yeah. Well, that's like I say, it's great that it's being seen. I do have a question. Um, is that in the, is, isn't that in a residential area? Yes. It, there's a whole fire across the street. It, it's, yeah, it's on the key street. So yes. Uh, okay, so it's a truck route. It's a truck route. It's a truck route, I know that, but I, it, but I thought that area, because I know just south of that, there's another green building, <laughs> and, and that was in a residential area. So, I know. Um, <laughs> there's a barber shop across, just across. Yeah. I think it's a barber shop, yeah. So I, I'm just questioning the zoning on it, because I thought it was residential. I thought if, you did, if it was out of use for a number of years, it went back to being residential. So I'm just asking the question. I'm not opposed to it at all. I just applied yeah. the clarification on this only. Whether that could be a special use permit requirement or not. I understand. Okay. 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 Steven, I have a question. First of all, I apologize for screwing up your last name. I tried to do it. Oh, no, no, no. Um, you did fine. It's Glagola. Glagola. Glagola, three syllables. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I noticed in the letter you sent you're looking at two years for completion if everything goes right? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Two years to completion if everything goes right? So when are you going to start, do you think? We're moving pretty good. We were already moving for a jury. We took three loads out today. We're filling dumpsters. Uh, I'm sorry, did you, did, did, did you mean for the completion date? Right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. If it works out, yes. It should be uh, earlier than that. I put it at a little farther. I'm just curious if that was still holding true with all the things that are going on. Oh, no, no, it should be a lot. It should be. I'm, I'm hoping I'm hoping a lot sooner than that. Good deal. You know, and it, uh, based on my track record, it's just been, I, I was retired and I came back out of retirement. So, and I'm in a new area to assemble crews. I've already got some good, good mechanical, local, local people, uh, mechanical uh, 
subcontractors, uh, electrical, plumbing, and these kind of things lined up. And uh, so it should go pretty, pretty small. So you're well on the way? Pardon me? You're well on the way? Yes, yes. Okay. So, I have a question. Are you, are you planning on living in the building afterwards? or? Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, not during, you know, construction. Right. Yeah. But um, afterward, I do. I think I'm going to have a residence up here and have a little, uh, I'm going to, you know, I may have one towards the rear, over the, the one over the, but we'll see. It may be rented out. I may rent it out and, and have another place. I may, I may do another, yeah, I love this town, and I may do another historical property. So. Great. Yeah. Okay. We're looking forward. Thank you. Any other discussion, comments? Karen, please take your over. Council Member Cooper. Yes. Council Member Beaton. Yes. Mayor Zelensky. Yes. Council Member Sipka. Yes. Council Member Schmansky. Yes. Mayor Pro Tender Bowski. Yes. Council Member Martin Pontiac. Yes. Motion approved. Thank you. Consideration of amending the city fee schedule. The city adopts a schedule, a schedule of fees annually as part of the budget process. Two areas, special use permit changes and rental inspection fees, have been identified as not included on the adopted fee schedule and needs to be adopted by city council so they can incorporate and publish. At this time, council can take action to amend the city fee schedule. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion. Thank you. I have a motion to second. Any discussion? Comments? Thank you. Was that for the special uh, special usage? This is you, you'll get a chance to talk at the start of the meeting. Oh, okay. unless unless there's a chance. I apologize. All right, thank you. Um, I was looking at the fee schedule, and I first of all I wanted to understand how you came up with the numbers because I thought they were a little light in some areas. Since city staff worked on it, yep. is there anyone here to answer that? For which set? Sorry, I was. The, the numbers, the the numbers on the fee schedule. Are these the same ones that were recommended by the the new uh, uh, inspectors? Yes. The, the registration inspection fees are, are the same as what as it had been in place, uh, and the non-compliance are all new, and those were recommended by state. Those were. I can't hear you. What did you say, Pat? They were recommended by who? The. Uh, Back to the registration inspection, those are the rates that have been in place for a number of years. In terms of the non-compliance uh, fees, those were recommended by State Bill, who's uh, working on that program for the rental inspection program. Okay, thank you. I just thought that the unregistered rental and the unregistered rental second notice I thought those were a little low. How much is that? I don't know my iPad. It's a hundred dollars for an unregistered rental for the first notice and two hundred dollars under unregistered rental for the second notice. Yeah, that's really low. I think. Can we amend that if we choose? You certainly can. I think they should be at least twice that. How's council feel about that? I, I have no objections to increasing it to like 200 and 300 or 200 and 400? No, 200 and 400. Okay. So, no objections? Can we make that happen? I would imagine you just make this part of the motion. Um, so, that's just going to be for the unregistered rental, first and second notice, and the remainder stay the same? Correct. Correct. So, who needs a motion? I'll make a motion to do Second. 200 and 400. Second. Any other comments or concerns? George, are we doing that right? It was, that was a motion to amend the previous motion, I take it? Yes. Right. <laughs> that would be correct. Any other comments or concerns? Please take the roll. They're voting on the motion to amend the motion. Okay. Councilmember Cooper. Yes. 
fire. Fire chief. He left. He left. He's gone. Um, finance. Nothing, Your Honor. Thank you. And I'm missing some old engineer. Nothing, Your Honor. Thank you. If I missed anybody, I can't see him. Aaron Bunny? Martin Bunny. I'll be right. Um, I just, our, they're both construction and the, all done on 31 with the pipelining and stuff? No, uh, the, I'm sorry? The, oh, no. No. Oh, no. The, uh, I don't know if you saw the article that we had in the paper today, kind of giving the update. The, uh, the contractor had everything set up to be completed by last Friday, and then all the traffic control removed on Saturday. However, they had a severe equipment failure, and so there's work to be done on one of, on the very last section of pipe that they have. Um, I was joking in our staff meeting this morning that every time I, I do an interview with the news advocate, it seems like the information changes. So they were supposed to reinflate that liner today and then it would have been completed, but they had some other issues. So um, fingers crossed they're scheduled to reinflate that tomorrow or what we call recook it. And then uh, hopefully all the traffic control can be removed through the, by the weekend. Their work will still continue in the community, but the work on 31 will be completed that time. If they can't complete, can they take down the ones other than around 6th Street? That's the only one right that they actually have to work on? Yeah, they, have, they actually uh, have removed a lot of the Type 3 barricades at the intersections. And then the barrels that remain um, are per the, the state requirements to provide that, that protection okay. in those tapers. So they've substantially reduced the amount of traffic control that's out there, but and the state has granted them an extension on their permit because that expired on Saturday the 31st. Mr. McCoolan. Yes. The high winds. I know we had some damage. Do we have some trees now? We can you summarize what, what happened? Um, actually, we, we had quite a few trees come down, but not as many as we've had in the past with those storms. Um, I think that the Quite frankly, the residents working with the tree commission and then the public works guys, uh, you know, maintaining that program of cutting down trees when they're when they're dead or trimming when they've got uh, decayed sections of it, I think has really been a benefit to the community because we don't have a whole lot of damage that occurs during those storms. Um, the most impact we had was just the along the lake shore with the sand blowing and uh, the wave runoff. I mean, the water was pushed up very high against the uh, onto the beaches, flooded out Fifth Avenue for the day. Um, by Monday morning, that would have drained back out. Um, but yeah, we had guys in most of the night and through the day on Sunday. I understand you built a berm and then it washed away their wash away? We built the berm twice, actually. We built the berm in anticipation of that storm uh, the week prior, and the storm eventually. Uh, wash that away, and then when the guys got done with cutting trees, they went back out there and, and just basically piled sand up to uh, help mitigate that wave runoff. Thank you. Can I have one more question? Um, so the leaf pickup program, how is that done? So uh, we started the leaf pickup this week, and the program is for the public, well, for the crews to go completely around the entire city once every week. Um, so we'll make a, a quick, not quick, but we will go through the street by street, pick up all the leaves that are in the street, um, and then they'll go back doing other duties the rest of the week. But we do that each week uh, through this month and then through the first week of December. Um, this week in particular, there were so many people getting leaves back out after that storm, um, and, and a lot of people were stopping there and asking them, you know, if it's too late. So we actually are, are working on a second pass right now, uh, but we'll keep working on cleaning up those leaves until the first week of December. Looks like you're going to have some good weather for the next five, six days. I, I wish this would hold out for a while. Oh, yeah, the only one. And then I've got some parts coming down. Um, John, Ricky, 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 
Jacob Nasty for these are both for anniversaries. And then for birthdays, Jacob Nasty. Um, I don't know what the farm is over there. So. Um, Kaylee Owens, uh, Jeremiah Hayner. Um, these are birthdays. Uh, Doug Van Sickle, Nick McCain, and Jeff Abula. Thank you. Mr. Blosky. Oh, Jeff, man, you don't make questions on that. Mr. Slasky. Uh, you know, I'd just like to compliment uh, not only Heather, but all of your workers and all of the full volunteers for a remarkably well organized and well executed event. Uh, and not only that, but also complimenting our citizens uh, for how, how uh, conscientious they were in coming out to vote and uh, how respectful they were of uh, other people in line. They were keeping their social distancing. They, they were doing the right things. It was really nice to see. Thank you. I couldn't have done that much